Good morning, sleepyheads. It is day 24 of trying to cross America starting from one penny to deliver a penny to Mr. Beast. It is the final countdown. I have a 30 day time limit to get to him. We are in the final week. Last night we got reset to one penny again. And later this evening I'm getting ready to go to the airport to go to the next city. A massive jump for Ryan. Um small jump for mankind. It's not a, that big of a deal in the grand scheme of things. We are selling our bike for $60 later, and my goal is to get to 100 bucks before we get to the airport. We are doing a nice 30 minute walk with a sweet dog named Milo, so let's hit it. On my way, Milo. I'm about to walk a golden doodle. I wanted a golden doodle my whole life. So this will be fun. Milo the golden doodle has been acquired. I think it's actually pronounced Milo. Hi Milo. Oh, you're a good boy. I love you. Last beautiful morning here in Austin, Texas. Frankly, thank goodness. We have been here way too long. I do think this was the only way with the plane ticket prices and the way we got reset. We just have to shift our focus to the next city and get ready to buy one more plane ticket. I just need one more, which is insane. Just nuts. Milo has been your standard good boy. Very good. <laughs> Milo, you've been amazing. Look at you. You've been amazing. Look at that four. We just have a quick 30 minute walk with Milo, so we're about to hand him off, but it's been a blast. Walk with Milo complete. We earned $16.07, and then he tipped me $20. The owner, not Milo. Nah. I don't, I, I, we got reset last night. We started this morning with a penny and we're up to $36.08. I have a McDonald's gift card, so I'm gonna go use it for breakfast and coffee. Let's go. We're selling this bad boy today. I am going to absolutely obliterate this big breakfast. I'm going to do a transition, and when I do, please, like, clap. <laughs> Thank you, guys. That breakfast was amazing. Let's keep it moving, and I'll tell you the game plan. Final day. My friends, it's time for the final Austin, Texas game plan. <clears throat> game plan. I said it sort of in a Texas Southern accent. As sort of an homage to the... To the state that I'm from. We're leaving today. Thank goodness, too. They say everything's bigger in Texas. That sun has got to be bigger. <laughs> Here. Step one, relax for a bit. I always feel the need to relax on my travel days. I don't know what it is, it just feels right. Step two, buy a lottery ticket or two or three. Last year when I did the Penny Series, I bought a $1 lottery ticket and I won $10. So I have faith that we could win some money, I do. Step three, meet up with a guy named Donovan and sell our bike at a bus stop. This will be the bus stop that takes me to the airport. It's gonna be the most insane transaction of all time. We ride the bike to the bus stop, we sell it, we get on the bus, we go to the airport. I like that idea. And step four, get through airport security and prepare for our flight to the next city. I got a feeling that tonight's gonna be a good night. So I've been copyright claimed for that. That's crazy. Anyways, uh, let's hit it. I have never been so excited to leave Austin, Texas. Today's a huge day. Oh, <laughs> sorry. Got struck. Goodness gracious. <laughs> All right. Tonight's gonna be a good, good night. <laughs> I have relaxed for a bit, so it is now time to test our luck with some lottery tickets. I have a $5 bill in a dream. Let's get it. Hello. Can I buy $5 worth of lottery tickets? Can I do a $2 one and three $1 ones? $5? Thank you very much. Cheers. We have $5 of lottery scratch-offs. I have the most corroded penny of all time here that I'm going to use to scratch them off. This has a $30,000 top prize, and this has a $500 top prize. I think it's safe to say that if we win the top prize for either one of these, we're gonna finish the challenge. I don't know why I'm talking like that. Sorry about that. Anyways, let's win some absolute bank. Gonna bring you over here. Prepare for the most epic lottery taj you've ever seen. Our winning numbers are... We are looking for 21 and 27. The odds are slim. The odds are very slim. Okay. Nope, 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 nope. Oh, so close. We won absolutely nothing. That's okay, because we still have three of these, and that, that means that we have more chances to lose money. Okay. We 
We just lost five dollars. <laughs> yeah, we didn't win even a little. We didn't even get close, actually. Easy lotteria. I'm going to put up a missing poster for Abraham Lincoln because I just lost that man. Next up, we're meeting up with Donovan to sell our bike. I am excited. I am stoked. We're getting a big boost by selling this bike. And after that, we're hopping on a bus to the airport. Oh yeah, let's get it. I need to stop saying let's get it. I need to think of another word or phrase that represents moving on to the next clip. Perhaps bon voyage. What does that mean? Yeah, I don't think I used that correctly, but hey, screw it. Bon voyage. On our way to the bus stop. With my bike. Donovan should be meeting us in about 30 minutes to buy our bike if he is real, in fact. I think he is, I think he is. Come on, Donovan. Come on. Okay, my friends, the time has come. The bus stop that takes us to the airport is right over there. There it is. Look at that. I did just buy a $1.25 bus ride ticket, a single ride. So that brings us down to $29.83. However, as I have said, it's time for us to sell Everett. How's that, Everett? Sorry. I just want to assess how insane an investment Everett was. We have been here in Austin for a long time. Purchasing Everett for $60 was a big investment, but it allowed us to do things like Uber, Eats, Delivery, and WAG. Because if this bike allows me to make money, then the profit comes from the penny. On Uber Eats, we've made $185.88. If only that $95 quest was real. <laughs> And on WAG, we have made $239.88, meaning that our $60 investment in Everett, albeit we had to get the tires fixed three times, <laughs> we made $425.76. He's acting up because he, he knows what's about to happen. I think that's a huge win. It's going to be sad to let go of him, but at the same time, we could really use this money in the next city, and I literally can't take him with me. A moment of silence for Everett. He didn't die, I'm just selling him on Facebook Marketplace. <laughs> All right, buddy, let's go. You're going to Donovan. All right, let's go. <laughs> Donovan? What's up, brother? How's it going? This is Donovan. What's up? Howdy, oh, oh that's, that's embarrassing the, that's for both of us. Yeah. <laughs> Everett is now Donovan's. Yes, I'm taking him home with me. Let's see it. All right, let's go. Go, Donovan, go. I'm chasing you. I'm chasing you. He's gone, he's literally gone. I'm gonna go catch this bus now, let's get it. Come in and cool off. Airport. Yes. Thank you. Thanks. Dang, man. It feels like literally yesterday I got picked up by that bus, went into Austin, and now we're leaving. Now we're leaving. I feel completely naked without Everett, I'm not gonna lie. Like, why do I not have a flat tire right now? <laughs> uh, it's a joke. I'm gonna teleport, watch this. Whoa! <laughs> I have no idea if that works. Hi. You did great. I'm on my way to dinner, but I just have to show you guys some of my favorite parts about the Austin airport because there's a lot. There's a lot of good stuff. First of all, look at this art installation. I love looking at these. What is that? Hey, is that Issa? No way, it's Toro. JK. Now this is a little bit less wholesome. This is a metaverse installation. I spent a hundred days in the metaverse. It sucked. Except for Clay, hey, anybody remember that? Any yo, Clay, you watching? Hold up. So you just hit this, okay, let's begin. What is at the end of space, uh, space? Hold on. Please be aware that you are traveling to a planet covered by a sentient ocean that will be able to read your minds. So I'm getting out of here. I'm getting out of here. What the heck? Anyways, as you can see, this is very creepy. It looks as if the chairs are descending into the metaverse. <laughs> this door also doesn't go anywhere. These places also don't exist. Mark Zuckerberg, Marky, let's let's just let's take it chill. Let's take it easy. airport vibes go crazy. <laughs> so after selling our bike to Donovan, we are up to $89.83. That's a lot of money. Assuming no one activates the Great Reset. Ah! <clears throat> Assuming no one activates that tonight, I'll be in a great position to hopefully speed run our way to the final airplane ticket. I'm estimating about $150 to $200 for that final plane ticket, which is rough, but hey, we've gotten this far, 
right? We are flying to a city that I'm really not familiar with. I don't know any money-making methods that we could necessarily do there, but I do believe in us. I believe that we can make this happen. It's the final frontier because when we buy that next plane ticket and we fly to, to Mr. Beast, all that's left to do is just give the penny to him, <laughs> which is crazy. We got reset like three times here in Austin and I'm ready to put that behind me. Um, but first, dinner. <laughs> I acted like I left, but it was really just for the video. It's my camera. I own this. Let's eat something scrumptious. No, don't put this in. I, I just feel like I'm gonna scare kids away. All right, Hutz hamburgers. What are we looking like? $18 hamburger, 18, uh, yeah. Looks like I'm going somewhere else. <laughs> I've been eating $1.50 burgers. I am completely spoiled at this point. My favorite coffee place, <laughs> just for the record. I have been loyal to the dollar McDonald's coffee dough. So. Should I? Should I? Maybe this place? Yeah, this seems reasonable. <laughs> it's good. Taco Deli. <laughs> Taco Deli might be the one. They have good prices and tacos, so I like that combination. Any two tacos for nine forty nine? Okay, okay. Hey, can I get uh, two of the chicken tacos with just chicken and cheese? Have a good one. Hi, buddy. We started with a penny. <laughs> now it's Taco Tuesday. <laughs> it's Monday. For me. Just had to hit the lonely SpongeBob vibes in the airport. It's getting kind of late, so not many people here. Would you want to <laughs> sit with me or? You don't have a choice. Hi. Hey, what's up? <laughs> How's it going? So I got two chicken tacos for $10.27. That brings us down to $79.56. I'm still happy with that. I think that's a great starting point for the next city. Please tell me they gave me sauce. They didn't give me sauce. I must have had to pay extra for that. Hey, you know what? I'm happy. Ooh, this looks amazing. Y'all, look at that taco. Taco Tuesday. Someone in the airport's like, it's Monday. Shut up! Not for real. Let's see how this is though. Let's see. Let's see. Uh, factor cap. Mm. <laughs> My body's doing this on its own. I'm not doing this. <laughs> doing some research on this next city. I'm. I'm going to. <laughs> it's a secret. You really think I would tell you? It's literally a secret. It's a surprise. It's literally more fun if you don't know what it is. And then I do that shot where I'm like. <laughs> It's gonna be worth it, I promise. We're gonna have to switch it up. We're not gonna be able to do the things that we've been doing. Wag, not gonna happen. They don't have dogs there. Uber Eats slash DoorDash, probably not gonna happen. We're gonna have to get very creative and I'm excited about it. We don't have that much money to make. I mean, we have a lot of money to make. Actually, yeah, there's actually a lot to make, but nothing that can't be done. I'm going to absolutely vacuum up these, these freaking tacos with my face. Cheers. <laughs> Am I a traitor if I slap this taco right now? Am I a Chipotle traitor? <laughs> Screw it. We're good. Absolutely fire. So my flight leaves first thing in the morning. It's another night at the airport in the cozy blanket. For reference, this is my setup. I am really quite sleepy, but now it's time to check donations and see if we got reset. Now would actually be a terrible time to get reset, truly, because the money we have would be very, very useful in the new city that we're going to just to get started and just to get this next plane ticket as soon as possible. Ellie and Chris Carpenter donated $5,000. Sorry I'm whispering, there are people all around me. And that is our only verbal shout out of the night. So we did not get reset. Oh my goodness. Guys, we are going to do this. Less than a week left. It's getting real. It's make or break. I've got a green blankie in a dream. Tomorrow morning we take off to the final city, the last frontier, before we get to Mr. Beast. I'll see you in the morning. Bye.